Gentlemen, New Balance Super Comp Trail testing is done in the studio. Oh my my! Part of my voice. We're all sick. We're all sick at the Demore household. So we're just we're just getting through everybody. It's been a wild uh, two weeks. Let's just put it that way. An interesting start to 2024. But we got the testing done for this guy. All right. All the scores on your screen. Soak them in. Oh, now you can tell I am quite excited about the super comp trail very excited everyone and uh there's the quick specs all right fuel cell through that midsole energy arc inside there very zesty outsole we'll break it all down for all of you and actually let's do a question of the day uh favorite trail running shoe of 2023 all right favorite tra i missed the boat with this one all right you know i took a six six month sabbatical from any running shoe review and i really regret not running in this shoe in summer 2023 when i was doing all the fkts i think my longest fkt was 16 miles and i absolutely would have probably opted for this guy to go after that 16 just because it's a little longer and it's that type of pep under step and weight to the shoe very exciting new balance uh i'm to the moon very uh all right let's go into it here we go upper pretty basic actually let's do the fit right now it's snug so you might need to go a half size up especially if you're wearing thicker socks for trail running oftentimes you'll wear a little thicker socks out there in the trail running department because you are out there for hours and hours also the grit and the grime of the dirt and the dust of the trails having thicker socks can be nice just to keep it off of your feet you know your actual actual your actual skin if you're wearing really thin socks the grit can go through the upper through the socks onto your skin and that can create irritation and eventually create uh like rubbing in a blister so you got to be careful there so you might need to go a half size up for the super calm trail just keep that in mind it is a semi gusset nice it's a basic upper basic um tongue of the shoe pretty thin actually i'm a little surprised i wouldn't be surprised if they up the uh, up the ante a little bit for the tongue in their next iteration simple it's a great heel sorry it's a good heel counter and i think again they will improve upon the comfort level of the heel counter in future iterations um and a pretty weak it's not a stout toe cap so if you do kick a rock or a root out there just be aware you might feel it on your toes just a little bit again not the end of the world um and i'll say out of the upper midsole and outsole the upper is the least exciting part of the shoe all right good 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 fuel cell it's soft as butter maybe too soft for some people i'm loving it peppy understep for that midsole i believe we're getting about a 35 36 on the durometer that's pretty soft in the trail running department in the road running department that's even soft um but you're you're looking at like upper 20s because you don't want a midsole that's too soft on the trails because rocks can really poke through. Thankfully though, you, they've got that energy arc in there to help block some of the blunt force of those rocks and roots in case, you know, depending on the trails you're running. If it's buffed out, you don't really need to worry about that. But uh, the thumb test is quite nice. <coughs> Get excited, all right? Twist test, twisting quite a bit. Flock of geese, everybody right there through the twist test. And it just, um, Oh yeah, 10 millimeter drop. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna be encouraged through every every stride to get up on your toes, which again I like as a four foot striker. I uh, I don't know. I would I would race in this. How would I use this shoe moving forward? I would race in the shoe, um, especially like let's say that 10 to 15, maybe 18 mile distance. I'm sure you could take it past 20 miles, but I'd probably opt for something a little more supportive, a little more beefy through that midsole going past 20 miles, but that like eight to yeah, 10 mile to 18 miles would be the sweet spot for me for the super comp trail as far as racing is concerned. And 
I wouldn't take it on crazy, crazy um, steep and loose rock type of trails. Um, I'm thinking of like the rut up in uh, why no up in Montana. Yeah, up in Montana, the rut race. That would be I would not choose this shoe because that outsole is the millimeters. I'm gonna go two, maybe three millimeters if I can find it. I'll put it on the screen right now. All right. So, but what is often overlooked in the trail running department is the angles, placement, and strategy being put forth for how you're configuring the lugs. Yeah, the depth of the lugs is important, but what about the configuration of the lugs? I, oftentimes I see trail shoes that I'm like, that lug pattern doesn't make sense for getting the best grip and like uphill, but often people forget about, about the downhill as well. New Balance, I think you nailed it. All right, as far as the configuration of where the lugs are actually being placed, on the bottom of the shoe so it's not just about the lug depth which is important but the configuration and oh uh, a little a little um uh decoupled groove going you know how i'm a heartthrob for that and you're not going to get the rocks stuck in that outsole because of oh just the the shaping of that decoupled groove it's vibram based it's light base so it's not extra heavy not a ton of extra rubber on that uh, new balance you really pulled out all the stops on this one <coughs> But $200, Ugh, I had to do it for four out of 10. But now, now down below, go check it out. If you want to pick up a pair, thanks for supporting the channel by buying your shoes down below. It's $147 if your size is still available. Summer, listen, I know we're like in the dead of winter right now, but summer 2024, it's not that far off. It's not too early to start thinking about, okay, if I want to pinch some pennies for trail running shoes in the spring and summer 2024, I would buy this shoe in a heartbeat again. I really would. Just keep in mind, uh, the fit is a little snug, and then the midsole is a, is a little soft. I like it, but you might find it to be a little too soft, okay? Again, that thumb test, it's, uh, it's a buttery. It's very, you could slice it with a, uh, with a dull butter knife, everybody. So, um, <clears throat> is that it? I think that's about it. Price, comfort, very comfortable because of that midsole fit durability durability is probably not going to be crazy high but it's going to get the it's going to get the job done and um onward and upward all right already asked the qd there's the comment of the day actually as we're as you're perusing the comment of the day being pulled from a new balance trail shoe in 2023 i'm just confirming the width of the outsole with our uh, caliper here 86 so a little bit on the narrower side and again, for racing, I'm okay with that. And then through the forefoot, 107. So again, pretty uh, not overly wide for your landing on the outsole. <clears throat> Butter the bread. Have a great weekend. And we will see you all as soon as possible. Whew, we're here. We're here, everybody. All right, see beauty. Work hard. Actually, we'll die. new balance, new balance right there. New balance right there. <coughs> see beauty. Work hard and love each other.